what we heard in that conversation, because I want us to pay some attention to the content. This conversation was a clear conversation about senior public officers conspiring to misuse public funds, our funds, funds belonging to the taxpayers, for personal benefit and mischief. That is to spread propaganda. That is to mislead and change narrative. And that is to defame and demean the opponents. That, my dear friends, in the simplest form of the law, is corruption. So the conversation, the content, is a conversation of corruption. And therefore, I was quite disappointed last night when the first response after 21 days of silence, hiding, ducking, running, and even play, pretending he's on the phone when he sees uh, the media, the first statement out of his mouth is rather than tell us, the question is simple. The audio recordings have two clear voices that sounds like the chief secretary in one instance and the secretary of education in the other. And the question is simple. Are those voices that of you and Zia? And the only answer at this point, understanding that it's a corrupt act, the only answer I would accept, and the public of Tobago and Trinidad and Tobago should accept at this time, and the only conversation, when this, so the question is, Farley, is that voice in the clip you? And let, this is the only answer I would accept. It wasn't. It wasn't me. That is the only answer. It wasn't me. That is the only answer that could absolve. So I heard him talking about simple brothers and sisters. Very simple. That is the fact of this matter. Very easy. Playing smart with foolishness. Telling us about he and his, ex his executive would be exonerated because of some security concern. And telling us, trying to, I'm, I, it's clear we're not stupid. Because they are believing that Tobagonians are fools and trying to take us for fools, but we are not. Because you stayed silent for 21 days to answer a simple question. And now it is clear that you are now coming to be technical about it, so you are trying to shoot the messenger. Because it's clear that you are trying now to say that wherever this conversation was had, that the room was bugged and that somebody surreptitiously was able to retrieve this information. But it matters not how the information was gathered, because at the end of the day, what this person was able to pro provide to the public is a conversation of criminality. And this person should be applauded. In fact, if I have my way, they should be awarded. And this is what the whistleblower legislation that is currently in the parliament is really trying to foster persons coming forward to expose criminality in government services, persons coming forward to expose corrupt politicians, persons coming forward to expose politicians purporting to be who they are not.